Greetings, it's been a while since I've done a video or even showed off any installation of any of my mods. So this is my most recent one. This is for the Pico boot. Uh, I know supposedly there's an official flex ribbon coming out, but until that comes out, I figured I'd make my own. And uh, this is going to be pretty cheap. Uh, so this one is for the, the Doll 001 series game cubes that have the chip on the top side. I do have another flex uh, cable setup that's coming out um, next week. So by the time you guys probably see this video, it should be I should have it as well. Uh, the installation is practically the same, except this is on the top, and the other one will be on the bottom. So the way this works is this has 3M tape, which will stick to the fan shroud, uh, which I'll show through the, the installation process. And there's some tape here as well, if need be. Uh, there's a stiffener, and this also has a stiffener, so it's actually pretty rigid. The uh, Pico will be soldered on here. You don't need to solder all the pins. I kind of labeled some in the back with these arrows, but you know, the more you do, the better. So this will give you easy access whenever you need to. You just lift up the, the shell and the fan shrouds right there and you can easily program this. So the installation is not going to be a bunch of wires where the controller port and all that other stuff was. Uh, it's actually going to be on the IPL chip itself. So I got this installation method from Nostal uh, Nostalgic Indulgences <clears throat> on Twitter and he got the info from ManCloud. So, uh, you can pull ground and 3.3 volts off of that. One of the pins that needed to be tied to ground is actually, you can get all that, inf all that on the chip itself. So this becomes essentially a wireless uh, mod. So there's no wires required whatsoever. So I already programmed this uh, Pico boot. And I'm just going to solder it on, show you guys how easy it is. I'm going to start with the, the center one here at the bottom. That's ground. Once you tack one in, the rest is easy. You just want to line it up as best you can. Let's apply some heat. And that's on there. So. Want to, you can solder all the pins, but I'm only going to solder what's really required. So it's the ones that will be here. If you do a few additional ones, not a big deal, because this will they connect to nothing. The ones that are required are wired in properly. The ones that are not are not, except for the grounds. All the grounds are connected. So if you want to do a few extra grounds, that's good. check yeah that's all covered the joints look good I don't know if you can see that there now we just got a few on the other side I believe it's three not two and it's gonna do a couple These uh, GPIO are very wide apart, spread apart wide, so it's very hard to bridge them. So we are good. Oh, that part's done. We're going to get the GameCube over here. I'm not going to go through the teardown, there's plenty of videos for that. So I'm just going to take the power supply off, all well, the fan, the fan shroud, the cover of the DVD drive. Uh, this is 
001 so the chip is under the heat sink so you're going to have to remove the screws and pry the heat sink off be careful doing this you'll likely you know possibly have a messed up uh, thermal pad uh, i'm selling these on my site along with the flex for whoever wants it uh, you can also buy them on amazon they're pretty cheap and just cut them to size but uh, i need to replace this one So the IPL chip is this one here, this is a U10, I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. The, <clears throat> the flex essentially goes over the chip like this, so the very first pin up here on the leg of the chip is what gets soldered. We can also use the 3M tape to hold it down. this up. Once I got it lined up properly, I can just push this down to lock it into place. So now I'm, again I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see how this gets soldered. But this uh, is what you got to do to keep it nice and secure. And it's super thin. You'll see once it puts, uh, it's all closed. You know, this gets in no way. You don't need to bend the DVD frame in a corner, like in the wire mod installation. So it's giving me another sec while I zoom in and try to get some good image for you guys. Okay, that's nice and zoomed in. So just gonna add a little solder here. Start with this one off first. All you're doing is just pushing it onto the leg. I want to pre tin makes it easier. Using some tweezers just to help push it down. All the joints are good. I don't know if you can see that. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to zoom out and show how this gets all put together. So you can see where you mount the, the Pico on the side of the, uh, the fan shroud. Okay. Now that we got the zoom out you no longer need to bend this up for the wire install because we're not doing a wire install as you can see it's like super thin fits out the side you can't really crush it once you screw everything back down you then put the, the fan over here with the power switch Once that's screwed in, you can just then peel off the 3M tape. Let me get a bit of focus. The 3M tape, and you simply fold it over, and it sticks to the side just like that. You don't need a 3D holder or anything like that. Once the 3M tape is peeled away, I haven't peeled it away because I need to bolt everything down. But just just to illustrate exactly how it goes, so just fold it over like I did. Just put a little bit of pressure once you remove the 3M tape um, backing, and that's it. There you go. Nice easy Pico boot, super quick install, and this is a, a cheap piece to get. I'm selling this on my site by itself, as well as with P1 
Pico uh, board and the uh, thermal pads. I can, I'll even sell some that's already pre-soldered. So all you got to do is just solder it onto the IPL chip. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. I got the next uh, flex board coming soon, and I'll make a video installation for that one as well.